Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly update with IT Pro Today. I'm your host, Nicole Henderson, and I'm a content director over at itprotoday.com. This week, Slack hosted its two-day conference called Slack Frontiers in San Francisco, and we had a reporter on the ground. It was also a big week for earnings with Microsoft and Amazon both posting impressive cloud results. Stay tuned for more. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to talk to you again. Yeah, so you've just been um, at the Slack Frontiers conference this week. So tell us a little bit about that and uh, what were kind of the main themes uh, Slack was driving home this week. Right. I was at Slack Frontiers and for the last two days. And over the course of those two days, there were a few big ideas that were floated repeatedly in the uh, product keynotes, in the company keynotes, and in the enterprise keynotes that I attended. Slack is positioning itself as a workspace where all of your disparate tools play together nicely. One of the uh, statistics that they shared across multiple keynotes was a, was a number they got from the MuleSoft Connectivity Benchmark Report for 2019, where only 29% of enterprise tools are integrated with one another. What Slack is hoping to do is to become the workspace where you are able to take um, information or input from the disparate enterprise tools that you have, put it in the format that you need to, and then share it with the relevant people. Some of their partners now include Zendex, Salesforce, and Smartsheet, which is another worksheet, which is another massive um, worksheet application. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Uh, it's interesting, too, because um, this morning Slack filed to go public through a direct listing on the New York Stock Exchange, mm-hmm. and they listed one of their threats as email, but they're kind of, in a way, um, insulating themselves or, or gearing up for that uh, competition mm-hmm. by adding all these integrations. Yeah, well, it was interesting. Yesterday's big enterprise keynote, the announcement was that Slack made a deal. Um, they're now partners with Zoom, and Zoom went mm-hmm. public, I believe, either a week or two weeks ago. I don't have the date in front of me. And Zoom, as you, as you may or may not know, is a video conferencing tool um, that people love because they're very tired of it for business for multiple reasons. And in the course of yesterday's keynote, the Zoom CEO was like, email is dead. We don't use email anymore. And um, what was interesting is somebody pointed out on Twitter that email is not dead if you're differently abled. If you're blind or, or deaf, that might, at, like, email might actually be the primary technology that you use to get stuff done. So let's not exclude that. Mm -hmm. And then some of the pushback within the conference itself were like, no, people are attached to their email. This is, these are their routines. This is how they work. What Slack is trying to do is pull routines that already work for people into their space and integrate them into what they hope will be new routines that help people get even more productive. Mm -hmm. Um, I see, too, that in the filing, Slack lists Microsoft as its primary rival Mm -hmm. um, and 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 a direct threat because of Microsoft Teams. So what will be interesting to watch is how much Slack and Microsoft continue to integrate with each other, because Slack recently rolled out app integrations for Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft OneDrive. And it will be interesting to see what Microsoft partnerships and integrations look like compared to Slack in about six months. Yeah, for sure. Well, we'll definitely be watching Mm -hmm. that. And uh, yeah, thanks again for taking the time. My pleasure. Talk to you soon. On the earnings side, Microsoft posted 76% revenue increase for Microsoft Azure, while Office cloud subscriptions rose 30%. AWS revenue grew almost 42% year over year, reaching $7.7 billion. For more on the Slack news and the earnings this week, please check out our website. It's itprotoday.com. That is it for me this week. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.